Hi, welcome back uh, to my channel. This is a very quick video to promote uh, again uh, a very interesting project uh, on the space uh, related to HackRF and software defined radio. And the project is uh, the Mayhem uh, firmware for the PortaPack. So this is a new uh, project started about uh, two, three months ago. And so a bunch of people are developing this new, I mean, updating and uh, pushing forward uh, this uh, firmware for the Porta Pack. Of course, it's an open source project and it's based on this uh, GitHub page. Um, right, so an interesting thing they, they did recently, a month and a half back or so, is the introduction of a Discord chat. So if you click here, you, are, you can register or you basically just provide your login information and you can enter this uh, very nice Discord chat. And as you can see at the moment, uh, there are a few people online, uh, quite, a, quite a significant number of people. And, but many others are currently offline, but uh, they, they join from time to time. So as you can see, there, there is a significant number of people. And um, so it's becoming more and more, I think, the, the, the place to go if you want to interact uh, with people interested in, uh, in the HackRF. So this is the general uh, channel. Um, so it's pre pretty much uh, focused on developing development. Okay, so here they, they talk kind of technical, a technical language. But there is also, for example, the random channel where you can talk about everything or share yours. Uh, where you know, uh, basically, yeah, you have all kind of channel for all kind of levels. And you, you know, if you want to contribute technically, you can do this on the uh, you can you can do that on this channel. Otherwise, you can just uh, you know. Um, enjoy chatting with others in a random chat, uh, etc. Another interesting uh, channel is the test drive, where they basically uh, pre-release the firmware being uh, develop, uh, developed at the moment. So this one, for example, was posted uh, the 25th of July, and I downloaded and installed it. Um, so my Porta Pack here is running this uh, test uh, firmware at the moment. And um, by the way, I did uh, uh, in my episode 39, I gave instruction on how to install this firmware. It's extremely easy, both on Windows and in Windows. So it really takes uh, one minute at maximum to do that. It's very easy. And it's almost impossible to, to break uh, the HackRF, OK? So even if it's something goes wrong uh, with the new firmware, even if there are some bugs or something, it's very easy all the time to go back to a safer version. So it's very safe to experiment. Anyway, in this uh, new firmware, as you can see here, I'm now playing around with this new uh, scanner utility that they are developing. And so I'm not going to do a review at the moment. This is just a work in progress. But I just want to show you very quickly the interface, uh, very superficially. And the interface is uh, much uh, more sophisticated than the previous one that I uh, reviewed in my episode 43. So as you could, can see, in the old interface, there was basically nothing, only information on the top. Um, instead here, as you can see, it's um, uh, much more improved. It supports AM, uh, narrow FM, wide FM, a bunch of, uh, of useful stuff. So uh, it's, a, it's a nice uh, development. And you, know, you can test it. And uh, if you find a bug, for example, uh, you can go back to the chat and communicate with the developers, communicate the bug, or even ask for a, an improvement. And they are very nice, and they are happy to receive uh, comments and feedback. So in general, I think uh, this uh, Discord channel is becoming a little bit the center of communication regarding um, AKRF, together with Reddit, maybe. But here, it's more dynamic, because you can chat directly. And so I suggest everything, uh, everybody interested on this topic on the HackRF to just join and, uh, and have fun here. So that's all I wanted to say for this video. And as I said, I will do a review of the new scanner utility in the future when they release a stable version. And um, I see you next time. Bye bye.